A Children's Book About Lying by Joy Berry Help Me Be Good A Children's Book About Lying by Joy Berry This book is about Katie. Reading about Katie can help you understand and deal with lying. Katie's brother says, And then this monster jumped out and... <gasps> Katie looks up in surprise. Sometimes you might make up a story and tell it to other people for fun. An untrue story that is told for fun is called a fantasy. It is okay to tell a fantasy, but it is important to remember that the fantasy is not true. It is also important to make sure that others know it is not true. Katie says to her brother, Did you really see a monster jump out? Katie's brother says, Of course not. I was just telling you that story for fun. Cat thinks, Phew. Sometimes you might say something you think is, is true. Then later you might discover that what you said is not true. When you do not know that what you are saying is untrue, you are making a mistake. It is okay to make mistakes because no one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Katie says to her brother, This book says that ghosts are not real. Katie's brother says, I thought they were real. I didn't mean to tell you something that was not true. Sometimes you might purposefully tell someone something that is not true. When you do this, you are not telling a fantasy. You are not making a mistake. You are lying. Lying is trying to make someone believe something that is not true. It is deceiving or fooling someone on purpose. Katie thinks, I think I'll tell mom I'm sick so she will pay more attention to me. Katie says, Mom, I'm sick. Cat thinks, you don't look very sick. Lying is not a good thing to do. When you lie, you disappoint other people. You cause people to wonder if you ever tell the truth. You cause people to stop trusting you. Mom says to Katie, you don't look sick and you don't have a temperature. Are you telling me the truth? Are you really sick? Cat thinks, say, uh... People who do not trust you might not believe you when you are telling the truth. This is not good. There are times when you need to have people believe you, so you should not lie. Katie doesn't feel good and says, Mom, I'm sick. Katie's mom says, The last time you told me you were sick, you were lying. Now I'm not sure whether to believe you. Cat thinks, yeah, we don't trust you. There are many ways to tell lies. You can tell lies with your actions. You might cause someone to believe something that is not true by acting a certain way. You are lying when you do this. Katie sweeps the broken vase into the trash and thinks, if mom finds out that I broke her vase, she'll be angry. I'll just throw it away and maybe she'll never know. You can tell lies with your silence. You might cause someone to believe something that is not true by not saying anything. You are lying when you do this. Mom says, Does anyone know what happened to the vase that was on the table? Katie thinks, If I don't say anything, she'll never know that I broke it. Cat thinks, uh, don't you know about the vase? You can tell lies with your words. You might cause someone to believe something by saying things that are untrue. You are lying when you do this. Mom asks Katie, do you know what happened to the vase that was on the table in the hall? 
Katie looks at Mom and says, No, I haven't seen it for a long time. Cat thinks, Ugh, that's a lie. People usually find out when you lie to them. Mom looks in the trash and sees the broken vase and says, Katie, please come here. Katie says, uh-oh. Do not try to cover up a lie by telling more lies. This will only make things worse. Mom asks Katie, did you do this? Katie thinks, should I tell the truth? Tell the truth if you have lied. Admit that you have lied. Say, I lied to you. This will begin to make things better. Katie says to Mom, I lied to you when I said I hadn't seen the vase for a long time. Say that you are sorry if you have lied. Katie says to Mom, I'm sorry. Cat looks in the trash and says, what a mess! Do everything you can do to show you are truly sorry you lied. Then do not tell any more lies. Katie says to Mom, I can pay for the vase with the money I got for my birthday. Cat thinks, not a bad idea. If you want people to believe and trust you, you must not lie to them. Mom is very proud of Katie for telling the truth. Cat thinks, it pays not to lie. The End A note to parents about lying. It's a real dilemma. How can children be taught to be truthful when a large portion of their lives is immersed in fiction? Also, how can children be motivated to tell the truth when doing so might result in them being punished? The purpose of this book is to help children understand the difference between fantasizing, being mistaken, and purposefully lying. In addition, it teaches children the importance of telling the truth. Reading and discussing this book with your child will inspire him or her to be truthful. It can also teach your child the appropriate way to behave if he or she has been dishonest. Since the fear of being punished keeps most children from being truthful about their misbehavior, it is important to remove the threat of punishment from any request for the truth. When a suspected misbehavior occurs, assure your child that there will be no punishment if he or she tells the truth. After your child has confessed to a wrongdoing, make clear to your child that although his misbehavior is unacceptable, you're proud of him for having told the truth. Then discuss with your child how he thinks he should behave in the future. Once a mutually agreed upon pattern has been established, Make certain you and your child follow through with it. Thank you.